We are hearing about the watch market imploding, especially on the grey market. 5711s, down. Royal Oaks, down. Submariners, down. I have spent the last few weeks researching this, as opposed to doing videos to give you my perspective as a business owner, not related in any way to the watch industry and a CFO. First things first, demand was rampant on very high-end watches from two of the three Holy Trinity brands and Rolex, the best brand in the business. Why was this? Obviously, for Patek and Audemars Piguet, these are rare watches in the first place given their high price point and low production volume. It's not difficult to see why, why these watches are in demand in a world of low interest rates, investments in higher risk assets like crypto, stimulus monies, etc. Rolex, even as a mass market luxury brand, has such an aura that it is not difficult to see what a perfect storm like this will cause demand through go, to go through the roof. Second to that, until recently, you had to order the watch, then decide if you like the watch. For me, I ordered an AP Royal Oak, which I got from the factory boutique, only to get it and decide it wasn't my aesthetic. I was going to return it when I visited my local jeweler about what to do and how to ship it, when he offered me an obscene amount more than I paid for the watch to sell it to him. This isn't flipping as much as it is offloading something you bought without seeing. Since then, most brands have corrected this with exhibition models. The offloading of watches for profit and some, flip, and some flipping led watches to be inflated. But strangely, most dealers didn't resell them, but held on to them to create an environment where these scarce watches got even scarcer. So that had a price spiral effect, which reached its crescendo in Q1 of 2022. Then what? A pop? Well, that's where the story takes a turn. Watch the YouTubers who focus on selling watches, overtly or covertly. Rarely a Nautilus, a Rolex, or a Royal Oak. Sure, they sold other watches, from these brands, but they were hoarding the hype watches. Why? A relatively boring accounting exercise to increase the value of assets on their balance, balance sheet. Say they bought a Royal Oak with an MSRP of 24,000 for 37,000. Now the watch is worth 75,000. They can list the asset for 75,000 and do things like secure uh, loans at low interest, which I'm sure every one of these gray market dealers did. Load up on cheap value and buy more, and the value keeps going up. Then the pop, the central banks raising interest rates, a conflict in Europe, a lockdown in China, a declining global stock market, People had less disposable income. So even the most meager supply being held by the smallest dealers sat. The smaller dealers probably didn't have the financial sophistication of larger dealers and had to discount these hype watches to move product. The big aftermarket dealers took notice and that is the moment prices started to decline. They started to move, not all, of their inventory at a slightly lower price. Watch some of the watch selling videos on YouTube and you will see whereas there were almost no Rolex, Nautilus and Royal Oak models, now they lead the sales pitch. However, there's another smart play here. I do not believe the large aftermarket companies will fire sell their inventory. They will release only some of their inventory to create a floor to the prices and then hope it gets even higher than where they bought their inventory at. This allows them to fish the smaller dealers 
out of this space. They, they will hope that the rising prices cycle begins again. However, there's something this different this time around. Almost no meaningful central bank will lower interest rate as the world fights inflation. So new borrowed money will come at a high price as they will need to churn inventory. Selling inventory will become paramount and selling a bunch of Breguet, Omega, or IWC watches won't cut it as they will need more cash to service these new loans at higher rates. This is why I believe there will be a stabilization soon followed by another price decline. And the second price decline should be your entry point to truly find the value in watches. Just wait everyone. The time to buy is not right now in late spring, early summer of 2022, but it will be later in the year in 2022 into 2023. You're not gonna hear this truth on watch channels that sell watches as they have, as they have to protect their inventory. I get it. Maybe some models will even be available at an AD too, as the margins won't be there for flippers. This video is truly the reason I enjoy producing content. I don't have a watch store. I don't have anything to gain from this. I enjoy my Petek and I'm not looking to sell it. I can just give you the truth with no ulterior motives at all. I hope you're enjoying this content. Thank you again for watching.